Of Jackson City Council are proposing a new ordinance to rebuild and clean up infrastructure around public schools. WJTV 12's Alex Love spoke with those members and parents today. He joins us live from the newsroom with what it means. Alex. Yes, some in the city government are calling this an emergency in certain areas where schools in Jackson are surrounded by bad roads, standing water, and streets with no walkways. Across the city of Jackson, infrastructure has become a serious issue, but some believe the first priority should be the area surrounding the city's 56 public schools. My smallest daughter goes to um, Oak Forest Elementary, and there are potholes that will swallow a hole, will swallow your car there in front of the school. And so if this is something that they can get past, it would, it, it, it would be an improvement. The goal is for safer access to schools, and one of the pair leading the charge is Councilman DeKeither Stamps, who showed us how things looked around his alma mater, Forest Hill. Right now we're standing in a, in a, in a walkway that's inches from the flow of traffic. And with the millions of dollars that we spend on infrastructure every year, we're just advocating that our children have appropriate uh, routes to school. The ordinance first brought to the table by Councilman Banks would require all infrastructure problems within a one-mile radius of public schools to be fixed, which in Forest Hill's case would mean a new sidewalk. That would mean a lot to me, not only to me, but to the surrounding neighborhoods. We've been coming together and, and discussing this, and that would be a very good idea. That way we, we would have some type of safety. On a ride with Councilman Stamps, we got a closer look at how narrow the side of Raymond is, forcing kids to walk through ditches and mud to avoid speeding cars. They're walking in the puddles of the rain when, when that time happened. When it, when, it, when it rains a lot, we know that they're going to be on the side in the puddles. If you're not walking in the mud on the side of the roads in the grass, there, there isn't anywhere else. I don't, it's not a safe commute for children walking or anyone for that matter. With dozens of school areas in need, the outcome of this project could total a hefty price, but members like Councilman Stamps say they have a plan. Stamps told us they'll plan to look into the city's 1% sales tax for funding, as well as providing emergency status for infrastructure around Jackson schools to be rebuilt.